everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I have a visitor today. She's my friend's cousin's cat and she is gorgeous. I've entertained myself with the cat who's been playing, I don't know, like jumping games from her bed to the windowsill. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get ready and just do a very simple makeup. I thought in today's video, I would share with you some festive looks. I know it's going to be a very kind of casual, laid-back Christmas for most of us. And I'm actually spending Christmas kind of traveling. I'll literally be checking into a hotel that day, I believe. Um, so I'm not planning anything crazy, but I thought I would still share with you some of my festive looks. And they're all going to be just very subtle, laid-back, casual kinds of outfits. This is actually the first kind of festive outfit I wanted to share with you. It's got like a red and green print, which I think does have a little bit of like a festive feel to it, even though, you know, it's just a floral dress. I've also popped on this lariat with a green stone, just to kind of tie in and bring out the green a little bit more. And to just bring in a little bit more green, I would also wear it with this bag. And I feel like it looks like a very casual, festive outfit. And I think this might be what I would wear this Christmas. Um, we shall see, but definitely I think very appropriate, especially if you are in Australia and it is the summertime and very hot. Um, so minus in it, probably. This Lariat necklace is from Monica Vinita. I received a little gift pack from Monica Vinita. And up until the 23rd of December, if you shop from them, you automatically get entered into their mystery bag giveaway where one person every day wins a mystery bag up to 500 pounds. So I have a couple of things that I want to share with you as well as a present for one of you guys. I chose out three pieces of jewelry. I have this necklace, which I just showed. And then I also have this talk. This is what the talk looks like. It kind of goes around the neck like that. You can take off these pendants and then you can kind of interchange this into the talk. Like that. And then this last item I picked out from Monica Vinanza, I will be gifting to one of you guys. Um, and I just think, honestly, it's been such a hard year and we all need a little bit of a treat or a pick-me-up. So for one of you guys, I'm hoping this will be a nice little Christmas present. I do love treating myself with jewellery anytime I feel like I've reached a milestone in my life or, you know, to celebrate a small win. I do like to treat myself with a bit of jewellery. So I'm hoping one of you guys will enjoy this. These are absolutely gorgeous and I did pick them out myself. I am actually going to get myself a pair this Christmas as well, I think, because honestly, they are so, so incredibly beautiful. This is what the earrings look like. Um, you can remove the pearl, so you've got like an opening key, so you can take the pearl out if you want to and you just want to wear that gold hoop. Or you can, of course, leave the pearl in. So obviously with this pearl being interchangeable, you can also take it off and kind of put it on the ends of this necklace. So you can have two different stones here, or of course you can put the pearl at the end of that. But there are a lot of ways to mix and match, which I really love about this Monica Veneta jewellery. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is to be subscribed to me on YouTube, follow me over on Instagram, and I'll pop the handle on the screen as well as down below. And then also leave me a comment on this video. You can leave multiple comments to increase your chance of winning. Um, but I will be choosing from a comment down below. So be sure to leave your IG handle or your email address, um, depending on how you want me to contact you. And I'm also going to be adding in a jewelry dish, which I mentioned from Tonkla Studio, which is one of my favorite like small local um, Etsy stores. And it's something like this, it's not this exact one because this is mine, it's been used But it's like a moon shaped jewellery dish which I just thought was so incredibly beautiful um, So I'll be adding that into the gift as well This is my first festive look We've got the dress that I said before Paired with the green Chloe bag And then of course that little green stone on the necklace I'll probably pair it with a slightly bolder red lip as well and I just think it's a very sweet but casual look 
for a summer Christmas in Australia. I also wanted to show you this outfit, which I think can be worn in the summer or the winter. In the summertime, it's just a short sleeve dress um, from Uniqlo. And I would wear it with this green bag just to kind of bring in those festive colors. And for the winter, I'll just add on a black coat on the outside to make it a bit warmer. I actually love the way the coat looks over the dress with the bag. I think it's a really nice, subtle take on festive dressing. This is what the full outfit looks like and I actually think it looks really chic. Very subtle, it's not too extreme with like the colors, but you've definitely got a lot of green going on which I think looks very festive. Obviously because I live in Australia and it is summertime um, for Christmas, I don't really tend to go for like the white and blue palette, which I think is more of a wintry Christmas look. So this would be my take on a winter look. I also feel like this is the ultimate like festive piece. It's one of my favorite sweaters and it just so happens to be this gorgeous deep green shade. And of course for more wintry vibes, I'll switch it out for a pair of jeans and then a coat over the top. This will be my winter take on that outfit with my Cezanne boots. I've swapped out the shorts for some white jeans and of course a lovely classic black coat. You've got the subtle pop of green here but everything is very muted, very subtle for just a hint of festivity to your everyday kind of outfit. Because I've been showing you outfits, I don't even know what I'm wearing today but um, I've just decided to pop on this little combo because the weather has been super confusing. The moment I put on a dress, I'm like too cold. The moment I put on a sweater, it's too hot. So I'm just going to settle for this little combo, which I think is nice and comfortable for today. The cat is living his best life right now and I am going to tackle these drawers. One of the things I want to do today is to organize my beauty drawer a little bit more. So I'm going to open this today and then organize some of my jewelry. I have so many lovely bits but they are always just a little bit scattered and I feel like not that well looked after. So I am hoping to do that today. I've kind of finished organizing my jewelry here and I want to show you these two rings again which are also from Monica Vinada. I purchased these during a sale earlier in the year and I think I got these for 50% off and they are so so pretty. I wear them often together just kind of as a stacking set and they just look like that. They're also just as pretty alone. I often wear the red one alone whereas the blue one I do usually stack. So this is how the drawers are looking right now and it doesn't look like it, but there's actually so much storage. I have got most of my lipsticks over here, and the ones that don't fit, I've just popped into this container here. Here we have the majority of my makeup, so we've got a few eyeshadow palettes back here. We've got my powder highlighter, we've got another eyeshadow quad, a blush, all over here. And then just a bunch of eyeshadows that are loose, some highlighters, blush, bronzer, and you know, some milk makeup sticks which are all kind of in this drawer, nice and compact. If, I'm not saying that it should, but if I wanted to grow my makeup collection, I've obviously still got all of this space. And it doesn't look like a lot, but honestly, like if you store your compacts like this, it will fit a ton. Also, I still have some space back here. Right now, I've popped this mask key, but um, it is nice to know that I have the options of making that into more storage or palettes and compacts as well. I'm definitely a person who will always have more skincare than I do makeup. In this tray here, I have a lot of my serums, um, especially the ones that are open. So I have this different gel for acne. I've got my eye cream. A few of these um, sample size products from Drunk Elephant. I've had the full size of all of these and I really like them. I don't have the full size right now, but these are nice for travel. I was given this UFO face oil and it is amazing. Once I'm done with it, I'll probably get the full size. I have this CEO Glow Oil from Sunday Riley and another amazing product. Sunday Riley is probably my favorite high-end brand along with Drunk Elephant. And then on a daily basis, I love the Ordinary Serums. I feel like they're really good for the price. I always have a few of these on rotation, just depending on what my skin feels like it needs that day. Here we have a toning water. This one is from Muji. This is nice, but it's not my favorite and I'm just trying to use it up. 
I have this ultraviolet sunscreen, a couple of the ordinary products again, and then a Drunk Elephant Bay Hydra Serum Gel. The jewelry section is looking very, very neat and tidy. I've yet to fill the second drawer, but I will do that at one point also. I'm really happy with this storage system here. I feel like this table holds quite a lot. At the same time, it's not so much that I feel overwhelmed and I start packing it with all sorts of random things. I just realized I didn't show you what's in here. This is just some backup skincare, my eye cream, as well as some radiant facial radiance pads that I don't use every single day. I just got the best delivery from Cezanne and I figured I would do a little unboxing with you guys. I didn't know this package would come today actually, so that worked out well. First item out of the box is a new Gaspard knit. And I had the guest part in an ecru color and I decided to pick it up in a black also. All of the guest part knits have the pearly white buttons, which I just think is so pretty. Obviously on the black, the white buttons stand out a little bit more and it's a bit more contrast, which I personally really, really like. This sweater is in an extra, extra small, which is a new size that they do. And I felt like my original guest part was like a teeny bit big. So I am also super excited to try it in the size down. And already I can kind of tell that it's going to fit me a lot better. The next item is the Anton blouse and the fabric of this feels really nice. It's a cotton linen blend and it's got a nice thickness to it. So it doesn't feel too flimsy or too sheer. I like that there's so many details going on. So you've got some lace detailing, you've got some like little embroidery details and the most dramatic thing about it is definitely these huge sleeves. They are so big, honestly a bit bigger than what I was thinking. So I'm going to try this on and let you know what I think. I also picked up two pairs of trousers and I feel like trousers are a bit of a game of chance for me when I order them online. Suzanne now does free returns from Australia which is why I've finally decided to pick these up and give them a try. So I decided to try the Clara trousers in this checkered print and I love this fabric. It's got like a brown, beige and black combination which is so neutral um, but it does have like an almost vintage feel to it. The fabric itself actually feels quite luxurious and soft, which I like. I've been wanting to add a few pieces into my wardrobe that are a little bit more fitted, less oversized, and I thought this would be a great pant. So we'll, we'll see how it fits. Um, it's always a little bit of a tricky task to order pants for me online. The last item I got is actually a pair of jeans from Cezanne. And I have tried Cezanne jeans before, which I then returned because um, I didn't really love the fit and like the style wasn't that inspiring for me either. I fell in love with the waist detailing on these. It's got two of these adjustable like almost like belt loops. Um, so you can kind of pull in the waist a little bit tighter if you need to. An issue I have with jeans is always that it fits on the hip but at the waist it's a bit too big and you get this awkward gap. So I feel like this will work really nicely. This is a darker blue jean material and I think it's quite a unique color in my collection. I don't think I have a denim option in this darker shade of blue. It's got a fold at the middle of the pant, which I always think looks a little bit more dressy, a little bit more elegant when worn. And it's also got some of the gathers around the front of the leg, um, if you can see that. The back seems pretty simple. It's got two faux pockets and it's, it feels like it will be a higher waist fit. So I'm going to try these on now and show you what it looks like. I'm really happy with how this fits. I do think the extra extra small is a much better size on me. Um, it's a little bit less roomy through the body and I also think the sleeves fit a bit better. It's still a teeny tiny bit long, but um, I am pretty happy with it. My favorite thing about the sweater I feel like are definitely the little buttons. I feel like they just add such an interesting look to a very simple sweater. And of course being the guest part, it also feels really nice on the skin. This is definitely a keeper and one that I am really really happy with. So this is what the Clara trousers are looking like and there's a lot of things that I like about this trouser but they definitely don't fit right so they will be going back. But I'm just going to show you in a bit more detail. I feel like the waist of it actually fits quite well and there's not too much creasing here which is nice. 
Um, around the thigh it is okay. I would say it's a little bit tight and pulling slightly. But I think the main problem is the calf area. Um, I don't have the skinniest of legs and I definitely do feel like this trouser is way too tight for me on the leg. Even though it fits on the waist really well. I actually do really like the way these look, um, if only they fit right. So I might do the 36 and see how we go. I feel like because I wear a lot of voluminous pieces on top, this will be a really nice bottom combo to pair with some of my more um, oversized blouses. Okay, so I've just popped on the Frankie trousers and I'll show you what they look like without me rolling them up. If you can kind of see the waistband, I really like the fact that it's got these two tie details. It means that you can adjust the waist to be a little bit tighter or a little bit looser. And I really like that flexibility. It's got some of the pleats that I mentioned earlier, which is nice. And I actually really, really like the fit of these. Okay, here we go. This is what the outfit looks like and I'm kind of obsessed. I really like it, um, especially the trousers. I do feel like they look a bit more flattering when I've rolled them up and with the legs rolled up, I just love the way they fit and the overall look of them. I do feel like it's quite flattering for a trouser with like a bit of a paper bag um, detailing. Sometimes these trousers can look pretty awful and I'm pretty happy with how flattering these are. I don't even mind the fact that I've had to roll them up, I actually quite like the way this looks so I might not even get them tailored to be honest. I feel like this lighting is not the best, it kind of just looks dark so let me put it somewhere else to show you. I have just popped a white blouse on and as you can see it is very dramatic with these huge sleeves. They are absolutely ginormous. I do feel like it's a little bit too dramatic for my liking. I honestly would prefer something a bit more subtle um, and something a bit more wearable. This top is a cotton linen blend which I really like and it's got gorgeous detailing throughout the blouse which is amazing. Um, the sleeves are beautiful but it's not the most wearable style and I do feel like I'm going to return this one. If I untuck it, you can see the full length of it. It's not too long or short, which is great, and I do think it's a beautiful, well-made piece. Um, just probably not for me. Wanted to very quickly let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm sending back. I love these jeans. I'm definitely going to keep the tags on and try them on for a few more days um, with different outfits, but I do feel like these are a keeper. I love the shape of them. I don't have this color in my wardrobe, and yeah, they're, they're just amazing. They're such a surprise. I honestly didn't think they would fit. Um, when I took them out of the box, but they are lovely. This top is really gorgeous, especially the fabric. It's probably my favorite thing about it, both the composition of it as well as all the detailing. But I do feel like the style of it is a little bit too dramatic for me. So this one I think will get sent back. Like it's a beautiful piece and I feel like a lot of people look really nice in it. Um, it's just not 100% my style. The guest part in black is amazing and I am very very happy with it. And the Clara trousers I really like but th this size definitely doesn't fit me. I might try the 36 if it's still in stock. Otherwise, I might just pass on these. I'm hoping to get this vlog up tomorrow and tomorrow I have a pretty busy work day. So I am going to kind of take a look at the footage, see how it's going before making dinner. Spent the last little bit making dinner and we are having a Korean japchae noodle tonight. There's no meat in this, so I've just put a ton of veggies in it to compensate. And we made quite a bit because I am also going to have it for lunch tomorrow. I'm going to finish off the vlog here and spend tonight catching up on some work. If you guys are interested in entering the giveaway to win the earrings as well as the trinket dish, um, leave me a comment in this vlog. If you're interested in any of the pieces I showed and you want to do a little bit of self-gifting this year, 
I'll have the pieces down below. Otherwise, I will see you in a separate summer and winter lookbook, which I am filming very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later.